What's up YouTube community, Bernd here, welcome back to another video lesson. In this one I want to show you an amazing and really powerful workout for your left hand that has the potential to drastically improve your technique over the next couple of weeks. This is one of the most popular topics on the lesson wish list on Patreon for this month. My patrons get to vote and to actively decide on the lesson topics we discuss on here on this channel. So if you would also like to be a more active part of this community, make sure to check that out on patreon.com slash Bernd. So let's get started with the shredding right away. So when we talk or think about fast alternate picking licks, sweep picking or anything else concerning the shred guitar playing style, we are almost always focused on the right hand and the picking technique. So we often forget that a proper left hand technique is actually incredibly important in mastering this playing style. Some of my students have developed a technique like that where they are using a pretty extreme angle with the left hand and that is already pretty hard for me to do actually. Right here, I couldn't really reach the 8th fret with my pinky finger, I couldn't make that stretch. So whenever you encounter a problem like that, for example wrist pain or fatigue or some kind of burning sensation, there's usually something wrong with your technique. Another very important aspect I want you to pay attention to is the angle of the fingers hitting the fretboard. You really want to make sure to go for an angle like that. As you can see I'm using an angle like that and you want to avoid flat fingers like that. That's a pretty extreme example, but if you would play like that, you're blocking the next string. But when you work with this kind of angle instead, the notes on the next string can actually ring through. So this is something we looked at with the so-called spider exercise. If I would work with an angle like that, it would be impossible to play this exercise. The string is blocked and that will really hurt your sound and progress on the instrument. So when you want to play fast thread guitar sections like that, you also need to work on an efficient left hand technique and can't just focus on the picking aspect. Because one of the key ingredients of a super fast and fluid technique is of course minimizing the movement of the hands and fingers. It's much harder for me to play fast like that for example and it will sound pretty terrible. That was a bit over exaggerated but I think you get the point. So here's the really powerful left hand technique exercise that I want you to include in your daily practice routine from now on. As always you can download the tabs, get the profiles and really helpful practice backing tracks for this exercise on my Patreon page patreon.com slash These backing tracks are recorded for you in different tempos will make it a bit easier to structure your practice plan accordingly and I also give personal and constructive feedback to student videos over there. So the most important factor about this exercise aside from playing in time and synchronizing the hands correctly is sticking as close to the fretboard with your left hand as possible. You can just stick to one position before you start moving it around. So just in one position on the neck and as you can see my fingers are not moving away from the fretboard after I'm moving back to the index finger. They remain very close. So make sure to make this the main focus of the exercise and you can also apply the practice trick I showed you yesterday where you look at your technique from a different angle. It will be much easier to control and to review if you're doing the exercise correctly when you analyze the footage after the practice routine. So always make sure to record yourself when you're working on technique exercises like that. And when we turn the pattern around it gets even more challenging in my opinion. So my pinky finger really wants to move away when I reach uh, the note with my index finger but I want to make sure to remain in the same area. Really controlling my pinky finger and gaining some additional independence is actually one of my biggest practice goals at the moment with fast alternate picking and legato phrases. So I also have to do some work concerning that. So when I speed it up it looks something like that. So 
So make sure to include that one in your practice routine from now on if you want to improve your left hand technique. 5 to 15 minutes every day are actually enough to get some great results in a short amount of time. In the end also make sure to subscribe to join this guitar community today and to never miss another free guitar lesson again. Leave a like in case you enjoyed that one and a comment to share your thoughts. Remember to download all your files for this lesson on patreon.com slash bern to start practicing right now. I will hopefully see you in the next video lesson. All the best and have fun practicing until then.